Dustin Poirier's coach Mike Brown admits that Dustin is the most stressful fighter to corner. He went on to say he's number one by far, by a long shot, but I also care about it. So the more you care, the more you're going to be stressed. Dustin can make it harder on himself sometimes, and he's his own guy. At the end of the day, he does what he wants to do. When he has something in his head, he's going to do it. Like the guillotine at UFC 299 is a good example. If he wants to jump the guillotine, he's going to. He's great at what he does, and he does have a good guillotine. They were damn close in that fight, but you also could have knocked him out earlier. Every time you hit him, you hurt him. Every time you jump, you're underneath and you're putting yourself in a bad position. So it's just a percentage game. Yeah, you can finish him, but we want to play the percentages. Islam Makachev does not want Dustin Poirier to retire after UFC 302. Last week, Dustin said, I'm not going to climb the ladder again. I've been doing this a long time. It's a very selfish sport. I'm ready to be a father and a husband and be home and be into a routine. I wouldn't say I can't do it again. I can do it again. It's just, this is it for me. I'm not sure, man, this could be the last one. I'm still on the fence, win or lose. I just want to be content with my career. Speaking to NBC Sports, Islam responded saying he's talking about retirement, but I don't want him to retire after this fight if I beat him, because this guy is dangerous. He can beat everybody. He's number like top five in the world, you know? That's why I don't think it's a good idea for him to talk about retiring, because he's still a very dangerous guy. That's why I'm preparing very hard for him. Sean Strickland absolutely hates the new UFC gloves. The gloves debut this weekend at UFC 302. I have the new UFC gloves and Islam was saying, you know, they might lead some more cuts because they're yeah, they suck. smaller. Yeah, you don't like them? Yeah, they suck, dude. I don't know who, like, I really, can we talk to the person who designed these gloves? Have you ever been in a fight in your life? It's like, it's like you get these dorks that have no idea and they're like, oh, this sounds like a good idea and they make it. Same thing in motorcycles. Like, I bought motorcycles and they put so much stupid on it. I'm like, dude, how did you think this was a good idea? So, yeah, no, they, they absolutely suck. You see, you dropped the ball on that one. Can you expand a little bit on why you don't? Like the gloves, the new gloves. Like, um, well, I wear, I will one. I mean, the ones they gave me are too small, so I had to go up a size. But I think they, what was the, what was the reasoning that uh, they want to try to make it so people stop poking people in the eyes? I think so, and less cuts. Even though Islam said they're gonna have more cuts. Well, they're they're a little bit more like a stitched. And dude, at the end of the day, people, people f get poked in the eyes because they open their f hands. Unless you put a boxing glove on, that's not gonna stop. So. It's just people creating a problem that we did not have. If you get cut because you get hit in the head, don't get hit in the head, you don't get cut. You get poked in the eyes because you open your hands. Don't open your hands, you won't get poked in the eyes. So it's just, you know, as, as people creating problems that aren't there. Nick Diaz gets a new pair of nunchucks. Open that up. Take it for a rip. Kevin Holland claims that he was close to fighting Nick Diaz next. He'll be taking a fight at 170 against a pre-named opponent, but they say he wasn't gonna be able to fight till August. So I was like, damn, that's a long time. And they're like, bro, it's only an extra month. And I'm like, no, nah, it's too long. So I got this, I'm happy with it. And uh, you know, I guess that fight's not gonna circle back because I see he just got booked. So we'll see what happens after. Which fight was that? Uh, it was Diaz. Yeah. What, what do you think of them booking him again? Were you surprised like when that was even in consideration? Did you think he was going to keep fighting? Uh, no, I, I mean, I knew he was coming back to fight. I just thought, you know what I mean? I was going to smoke him. And then uh, and then I was going to smoke Luke too. But those two were fighting each other, so they could smoke each other. 
two big ass joints. <laughs> so you were gonna go to Abu Dhabi potentially for that fight? Oh yeah, it was in Abu Dhabi. No, no, I wasn't going to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Here is some recent sparring footage of Michael Chandler. Max Holloway passes out while flying in a fighter jet. You ready to go vertical? Yeah, let's get it. All right, we're going vertical. Ready, hit it. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> ready, hit it. There's seven. We're easing back to five. Squeeze the legs. Let's get it! MMA community is speculating that Islam Makhachev has a staph infection. This photo was going around social media last night. Islam appears to have something going on with his left leg. People did some digging and found out that Islam was also keeping his shin covered during camp. Conor McGregor reacted. He wrote staff again. This inbred, however, lives with staff. His team is infested. Make no mistake, scruff balls. Whatever yous are into, I suppose. He still subs dusted in the first. He followed up with use absolute scruffy f I'm sick of yous. Wash your f***ing self. Wash your clothes. Wash your mats. And do it every f***ing day, you scruffy c Now, people are also speculating that Paulo Costa has a staff infection. Here are the first set of photos that were going around. Paulo appears to have something going on with his left foot. And here's another photo that's a bit more HD. If you zoom in, you can clearly see the same thing. Neither Islam or Paulo has commented on this. What do you guys think? Post your opinions in the comments. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Patrick E. It says, why isn't Tony fighting Nick? The second one's from The Eagle Has Landed. It says, Kiesa versus Luke, Tony versus Nick. Wake up, Dana. And the final one's from Just Some Guy 26. It's in reference to Darren Till saying that he's gonna knock out Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and then look for a fight against Jake Paul. It says, who the f actively looks for a fight with Jake Paul? Till's fall from grace is something else, man. Jesus Christ. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.